welcome to the project demonstration of solar powered multi level inverter so in this project we are developing a solar powered based multi level inverter in seven levels so using the 12 switches mosfets we are developing this uh, h bitch based full h bitch based inverter circuit which is seven level based and the whole system getting uh, like power supply from this battery pack uh, which is rechargeable through the solar panel as well as from the grid also so grid is optional in our project the main project aim is to charge a battery pack uh, to the solar panels means the solar energy will be stored into the battery pack and from there the dc voltage will be converted into the ac first stage and that too in seven levels so after inversion completed then that will be step up to the nearby 230 volts with the help of the step up transformers so total here the uh, uh, three stages one is charging from the solar panel the next stage is inverter to convert ac uh, dc to ac uh, with the help of the microcontroller along with h bit circuits that is a full bridge uh, inverter we are using here that in seven levels using this uh, 12 switches in that one six are the n channel mosfets and uh, six are the p channel mosfets because we need to switching that in negative current that's why we need to use the p channel mosfets and n channel mosfets is a combination of the full bridge h, uh, h bridge here so after the output of this each h bridge will be connected in series so the output of this one will getting the seven uh, level inverter in the uh, modified sine wave and that will be step up to the 230 volts with the help of this 12012 uh, 230 volts step up transformer so the input of this uh, transformer is 12 volts ac the output is nearby to the devolts of ac that will be connected to this load coming to the ratings we are using three solar panels of uh, uh, 12 uh, 12 volt 3 watt solar panel the output of this solar panel is input to the charging uh, charging circuits so here the charging circuits both are look like same one is the grid charging circuits and there is the solar panel charging circuits so in this one we can see the four diodes are connected in a manner of Uh, full wave rectifier so when we providing the ac input to this charging circuits these four diodes will act as a rectifier to convert the ac to dc but when we are connecting this solar panel dc inputs then these four diodes will act as a polarity corrector so here the ac to dc rectifier here dc to dc polarity corrector means if we connect the solar panel in reverse polarity then that will be rectified so if you don't use that then the negative will be connected to the positive of the battery pack then the, there may be chances of battery or solar panel will be damaged in order to protect that reverse polarity correction, correction so we use these four diodes then after two diodes are there which are acting as a unidirectional current flow on both charging circuits so means whenever the battery is charging then these two diodes will block the current flow from the battery either to the solar panel or to the transformer so the charging time for this battery pack is if you are getting full sunlight on the solar panel then it will get fully charged in a duration of 5 to 6 hours either from the transformer also if you are providing the both sources to the battery pack at a time then it will get fully charged in a duration of 1 and 1/2 hour to 2 hours as we are providing the maximum power uh, from the two sources coming to the battery pack we are using uh, six batteries here so each uh, battery pack consists of three 4 volt 1 amp battery two battery packs in parallel so we'll get 12 volts 2 amp dc output and that is the input to this initial h bridge uh, full bridge 1 2 3 3. so after three stages our microcontroller keep on switching the pulses so here so we are providing the pulses here so if you want to get the pulses on the cro or solo dso then this these three pins are connected parallelly to the switching sequences in that this green color is the ground side and uh, here also this one blue is the ground side and uh, on here the blue is the ground side so remaining two are the mosfet signals because in in this four mosfets two are in uh, parallelly controlled uh, and remaining two are parallelly controlled that's why these two are switched at a time these two are switched at a time so totally six pins are required from the microcontroller to this uh, full bridge h bridge circuit uh, to convert dc to ac so here the 12 volts 2 amp dc will be converted into 12 volts 2 amp of ac after this hb circuit the final is 12 volts of ac in seven level inverter is given as input to the step up transformer from there we are going to get the ac output to the load so let us see the demonstration so initially the microcontroller will be on and off two times the indication of program is initialized and then after the system triggering the pulses to the hb circuits to convert that dc to ac and again to the ac to step up uh, step up to get ac voltage of 230 volts nearby that